good afternoon students so again welcome today today is uh, 26th november 2020 and we are moving towards the completion of the specialized paper of population studies so today in the second paper of the population studies uh as you know that earlier i told you about the concept and meaning of migration today dear students i will deal with the theories of migration and the very first theory which is very much important is known as lee's theory of migration and this theory is uh, affected by the pull and push factors of migration which i told you in the last class okay so second paper third and final unit theory of migration begins with lee's theory of migration so students very carefully listen this topic because in this covid era uh you might heard about the issues of migration especially in india the issue of reverse migration so why migration took place and why people reversed back to their origin place this is a this this was the concern during this covid era and this this is linked with this theory also so let us start with this theory students so again before moving towards that basic theory let us start by saying by asking ourselves why migration kyon log ek dusre ek jagah se dusre jagah jane jaate hain उसके पीछे का कारण क्या है वाई माइग्रेशन सो स्टूडेंट्स माइग्रेशन इज वन ऑफ द डिस्टिंग्विशिंग फीचर्स ऑफ ह्यूमन बीइंग्स दैट हैज बीन अकरिंग सिंस इट स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम द वेरी बिगनिंग ऑफ द मैंस अपीयरेंस इन दिस यूनिवर्स शुरू से जब से दुनिया बनी होगी जब से मनुष्य का अस्तित्व हुआ होगा तब से लोग कहीं ना कहीं एक दूसरे से एक जगह से दूसरे जगह जाते होंगे किसी न किसी वजह से तो मूवमेंट इज नॉट न्यू थिंग बट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ माइग्रेशन इज रियल फैक्टर ओके सो ह्यूमन मोबिलिटी वाज इवन प्रेजेंट इन द प्रिमिटिव टाइम्स एंड पीपल यूज टू माइग्रेट इन सर्च ऑफ अबंटेंट फूड एंड इन सर्च ऑफ ए सेफ लिविंग इन्वायरमेंट एंड प्रोटेक्शन फ्रॉम द फिजिकल डेंजर्स जब विकास नहीं हुआ था जब प्रिमिटिव सोसाइटी था तब भी लोग खाने के लिए या सही जगह रहने के लिए जानवरों से जंगलों के विपत्तियों से बचने के लिए लोग एक जगह से दूसरी जगह मूव करते रहते थे दिस इज प्रायर टू माइग्रेशन थ्योरीज ओके सो इन मॉडर्न एज माइग्रेशन हैज गेन इंपॉर्टेंस विद द अशरिंग ऑफ द era of industrialization and urbanization so these two term is very much linked with the theory of migration students the factors like development of mod modern means of transport and communication intermingling and interaction of different cultures globalization etc has led thousands of people to migrate in search of the better opportunities related to education employment and living standard among other factors so this is how migrations theory begins this is how here we link migration with the theory of development so student migration is one of the causes of social change and it is one of three basic components of demographic change and the other two as earlier i told you being birth and death so migration is a very important component of the modern era and so migration is a complex phenomena affected by many factors and attempts have been made 
from time to time to understand the various factors influencing this process. So before moving to the Lee's theory, we should know about the reason of migration. So students now let us start about the concept of the migration theory and with this concept we will trace the basic cause of migration that is named as also factors of migration. So the reason that people migrate are determined by push and pull factors. Okay. Which are, force, which are forces that either induced people to move to a new location or obliged them to leave old residence. And then pull factors are exactly the opposite of push factors. They attract people to a certain location. So you have to make clear in your mind that Two basic factors is very much necessary to start and to learn about the theories of migration that is called as push and pull factors. And in this COVID era, you might see that many people, crores of crores people move from rural to urban areas during normal situation. And then due to pandemic effect, Again, they pushed to back to their villages and that is named as reverse migration. So students, there are many reasons behind migration. Let's start with by saying that migration is a broadly understood as a parameter, uh, as a permanent or semi-permanent change of residence. And in, in other words, we may say that migration may be defined as form of relocation of diffusion that is the spread of people, ideas, innovation, behaviors from one place to another or involving permanent moves to new locations. And the reasons that people migrate are determined by push and pull factors, which are forces that either induce people to move to a new location or oblige them to leave old residence. Hence, these could be economic, political, cultural, and environmental any one reason may push or pull people to make their movement for any reason okay so here is a specific factors push factors and pull factors in forms of table so very easy to distinguish between push and pull factors in one table i have written here that push factors are conditions that can force people to leave their homes and are related to the country from which a person migrates and pull factors means the pull factors are exactly the opposite of push factors they attract people to a certain locations and then you see that in push factors include non availability of enough livelihood opportunities poverty rapid population growth that surpasses availability resources primitive or poor living conditions, desertification, famines or droughts, fear of political persecution, poor health care, loss of wealth and health natural disaster. So this all can affect people to move from one place to another and they are, they are called as push factors. Okay, any one factors could force people to move to leave their origin place and in reverse Pull factors says that typical examples of pull factors place are more job opportunities and better living conditions. Easy availability of land for setting and agriculture, political or religious freedom, superior education and welfare systems, better transportation and communication facilities, better health care system and stress free environment, attractive and security. So this is specific distinguish between push and pull factors okay and again by this simple uh, diagram plus table form you can see these all are the push factors security natural disaster extreme pollution death threat political turmoil discriminations war famine poor chance of marriage etc the man is pushing and you are moving from a place to b place and what is pull factors Better life lead, job opportunities, freedom, 
हायर एजुकेशन मेडिकल सर्विसेज एजाइलम सिकर्स क्लाइमेट एंड फैमिली लाइन्स दिस मैन इज एट्रैक्टिंग एंड पुलिंग यू फ्रॉम दिस प्लेस सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन एक्सप्लेन इन एग्जामिनेशन एंड देन स्टूडेंट्स विद दिस फैक्टर्स वी हैव टू डील लीज थ्योरी द फुल नेम ऑफ लीज इज एवर्ट ली ही प्रपोज्ड another comprehensive theory of migration in 1966 and he begins his formulations with factors which leads to spatial mobility of population in any area and these factors were factors associated with the place of origin okay from where people are moving to the another place factors associated with the place of destination people moving from a to b place b is called a destination and then this theory adding the third and fourth one is intervening obstacles and personal factors so i will explain this uh, theory with this intervening obstacles and personal factors okay so students while the explanation of lee's theories this is the explanation of lee's theories which i will send you in the form of ppt but let us start that which type of push and which type of pull Lee have invented while uh, drawing or narrating his his theory of migration. So these these are various pull factors. You can see not enough jobs, few opportunities, primitive condition, desertification, famine, drought, political fear, poor medical care, loss of wealth, natural disaster, death threats, lack of political or religious freedom. pollution poor housing landlord or tenant issues bullying discrimination poor chance of marrying so students you might or you must see any one of these factors through which people moves from one place to another and this is called as push factors and each one is a area of research okay and again in contrast push there is a pull that is job opportunities better living conditions political religious freedom enjoyment education better medical care attractive climates security family links industry and better chance of marrying so these two lees has invented and which through which he described a very beautiful theory of migration and this theory is not simple because Lees used to say that is it, and raises the question that is it this simple to move to leave their origin place? So the decision of groups or households to move is an important factor. So students, migration is not just outside force and pull push factors, but a deep conscious decision that individual make. You can see. he is thinking that whether i should leave my position or not whether i should leave my destination or not my my origin place or not ek bahut gambhir vishay hai agar vyakti ko apne mool sthan ko chhodna pade to agar by choice chhodta hai kisi aakarshan se chhodta hai koi majboori ke bagair chhodta hai tab to uske liye ek vikas hai lekin agar majboori se force tarike se political wajah se डिस्क्रिमिनेशन की वजह से जॉब की कमी की वजह से छोड़ता है तब एक बहुत सोचनीय दशा हो जाती है और उसके लिए सरकार को नीति बनानी होती है ओके सो दिस इज हाउ इंटरवेनिंग ऑब्स्टिकल्स एंड लेट अस एक्सप्लेन द थ्योरी बाय दिस डायग्राम यू कैन सी स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज ए प्लेस दिस इज बी प्लेस दिस इज प्लेस ऑफ ओरिजिन दिस इज ए प्लेस ऑफ डेस्टिनेशन एंड दिस इज थर्ड वन इज कॉल्ड एज इंटरवेनिंग प्लेस सो अकॉर्डिंग टू ली push factors from a to pull factors to b people are trying to move but if between these two places if there are lots of obstacles then there will be less movement the more obstacles means the minimum migration and the less obstacles means the maximum movement and if there are more obstacles then people people moving from a could choose the third place which is called as 
intervening places. So this is plus is a adding of the population, negative is a minus moving people from A, plus is a positive, minus is negative, zero is a null. So this is how Lee explained the theory of migration by intervening obstacles. And hence Lee said that, Lee, that he pointed out that the migration process is selective because differentials such as age, gender, and social class affect how persons respond to push-pull factors. So only by saying that there is a pull and push factors is not sufficient. But, but we have to see the obstacles and intervention of the obstacles. These conditions also shape their ability to overcome intervening obstacles. So furthermore, personal factors such as person's education, knowledge of potential receiver, population, family ties, and the like can facilitate or related migration. So students, I'm stopping here by saying that push and pull factors are the major factors for the migration, cause of migration, and Lee invented his theory with these factors of push and pull, but the adding up by the intervention obstacles. And this is how you have to explain the least theories and correlate between modern migration uh, uh, circumstances and earlier migration circumstances and link between developing countries and developed countries. That's how Lee's uh, produced and presented his migration model called as intervening obstacles model. Or we can say it's push and pull theory of Lee's migration model. Thank you.